In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can interpret a fraction. A fraction is made up of two numbers, a numerator and a denominator. The numerator tells me how many parts of the denominator are shaded or used. The denominator tells me the total number of equal parts a whole has been divided into. So with the question on the left, I can see that I've got in total a 5 by 3 rectangle. 5 squares along, 3 squares up means that there are 15 squares altogether. I can also see that 6 of them are shaded in, and this is what makes my fraction. This fraction can be simplified if I visualise the problem in a slightly different way. If I look at this problem slightly differently and I see that this is actually five columns of which two of them are shaded, this is the fraction in its simplest form. These two fractions are equivalent and in order to simplify six fifteenths into two fifths you find the highest common factor of both the numerator and the denominator. The highest common factor of 6 and 15 is 3. So if I divide both the denominator and the numerator by 3, I get it into its simplest form. Pause the video here and have a go at the question on the right hand side. When you're ready for the answer, press play. With this question, I have a 5 by 4 rectangle. 5 squares along, 4 squares up would mean that I've got 20 squares altogether. I can also see that 10 of them are shaded in. Another way of visualising this same problem is to see that I've got 4 rows. of which two of them are shaded in. The other alternative is to see that this shape can almost be seen as two halves, of which one of them is shaded in. This is now the fraction in its simplest form. So in order to go from the original fraction to my fraction where it's in its simplest form, the highest common factor of 10 and 20 is 10. So divide both my denominator and my numerator by 10. There is now no other number that will go into 1 and 2 other than 1. So this fraction is now in its simplest form.